Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now I want us to work on a different uh, topic, the debt functions in Power Query uh, within Power BI. So we have quite a number of debt functions uh, within Power BI. But I just want us to deal with the major ones, uh, the major debt functions within Power BI. So first we'll start uh, with uh, how to extract uh, a day, month, quarter, and year when you are given a date table. So how will you get uh, the day of the year, the month of the year, the quarter of the year, and the year itself uh, from that date table? So let me just take you to Power BI. So now from here we need to uh, get data. So I'll click get data, then uh, then Excel because we are we are using Excel workbook as our data source. Then I'll pick this one for date functions, uh, the the file. Then open. Then I'll pick rather I'll pick the first uh, table. And then this is the preview of what we have as data within that table. And then we'll click on transform data. This will take us to Power Query Editor. So this is our query for date. And then this is the preview. But now we want to see how we can come up with the, the day of the month, rather the day of the year, uh, month of the year, quarter of the year, and the year itself. So we'll choose this column as it is, and then we'll go to add column. And then now we'll focus on the functions for date and time. And then we'll click on this button for, for date. Then we have a, a list down here, but we want uh, the day of the year. So we'll uh, choose this option for day. And then we'll click the first option here for day. And so this, uh, when you look on the first uh, row, we have the second day of the year within 2021. And when you come down here, we have uh, the first day of 2022. And uh, we also have the 13th day of 2022. So what about the month? Again, we'll come and uh, choose this column. We are choosing this column because it has a day. Uh, it has a time and date. So we'll always be coming back to pick uh, this first column because it has a, a date and time. When we choose this column, you can see uh, all the icons here become inactive because uh, this column does not show date and time. So we'll, we are coming back to this first column with date and time. Again, we'll uh, click on this icon for date. Now we want uh, the month of the year. So we'll again come here and choose a uh, month. But this again will just give us the numerical value. So here we know it's the 12th month of the year 2021. And down here we know it is uh, the first month of uh, the year 2022 then let's go again back to uh, the first column and then again now we want to extract uh, uh, a quarter of the year so we will uh, go to uh, this icon for date and then we will uh, choose quarter again then we will choose quarter of the year so again, we can see we have fourth quarter of the year 2021 and uh, first quarter of the year 2022. So let's go, go back again to the first column because it has date and time. And then now we want uh, to extract the year itself. So we'll go to again, click on this uh, console date and then we'll come down to year option. And then we'll choose uh, the first option for year. So you can see now we have uh, 2021 and 2022 as years. So that's how to uh, come up with the days of the year, month of the year, quarter of the year, and the year itself when you are given 
uh, a data for date. So from here you can again go to home tab and click uh, uh, close and apply to load it into Power BI. But uh, we are not interested in loading the data, so we'll just uh, uh, leave is leave it as it is, and then we'll move on to the next lesson. So thanks a lot for watching, and let's meet on the next video.